Pair it. Fill valve. Fill valve. So much shit and recording people. Fill valve. Making screeching sounds. I gotta change it. Sometimes it's really, really loud. It takes so long to fill. I have a new one. The company sent me one like a year ago. So loud. So it takes forever to fill. New fill valve. Look at this. Hose. Got a hose. I don't have a freaking hose for. Try taking this off, and you know you turn it, it's a quarter turn, you put a cup over it, when the water's closed, close the water first, take that off, put a cup over it, turn the water on to flush it, didn't do anything, something wrong with this thing internally, this is warm dude, chlorinated, crappy, Florida water, it takes forever to fill up, forever. It takes like three minutes. Something wrong with it. I want to see what a little more flush though when it stops and a noise. In this case, flushing it's not going to fix it. This is a champion by the way, American Standard has the cool valve. It's that metal handle. There it is right there. No, it's, sometimes it's whistling. I'm just gonna turn the water off though we're done here. Turn it all the way down. I have a shitload of water. It's gonna drain. Last time I did this I made a mess, but proprietary jug cut in a way to catch it is working very very well because it's very very tight over here. Look at all that dog hair and shit next to it. Ugh. I'm cleaning. It's working good though. I'm trained. Let's do this in a minute. None of these horrible valves in this place seal, so that's why it's still leaking. I'm gonna turn off the main. Hopefully that catches some of this water. Whoa! Oh, it's got too much to it. We got a little flood. Take it out. Remember how it was positioned? Mine was actually more positioned like kind of like that. Put it over there, new one has a seal. Trying to adjust your water height. We just got to stop this freaking leak. Where's the uh, the thing that shoots the water out? I was on the side in this one. I got to put the hose on. On the back on that one, interesting side. I got to put it this way, a little different design, but that should be fine. Uh, I gotta figure out how this goes with the other parts. So far, that is tight. You got the hex nut, and then the supply water. This doesn't have to be crazy tight, mostly this hand tight. Some of these fill valves, they don't give you a hex nut and uh, the ears on it. Oh, I went going the wrong way. What? No, I'm not. Yeah, this way. That was the way. And it interferes with the uh, the water on a lot of those. Doesn't have a crazy tight. It's just plastic. Water mess. Okay, it's gonna, uh, I gotta change that hose. So the fitment's all different. Fitment's all correct. You see that one? kind of sitting over there and had the water going straight out this one not the case on the bottom and you can't rotate that unfortunately can you oh man I, I screwed up actually shit I screwed up there's a it's supposed to match the height of this one and that one I totally forgot oh no it's gonna have to come out again see the collar you have to match those heights See how this one has to go up higher? Yep. Numbers on it too, it's like a 10. 
It's like a 10. All you do is you pull up on that collar, and then you pull it, and then lock the collar down, and you're done. It's about even. Let's go put it back before our water over explodes with these horrible um, valves. I said the hose came out the wrong way. I fixed it. You can rotate the top of it. Take that off like you're cleaning the fill valve. Pop that off. Turn it. Clock it correctly. I can't really show it because I'm really having the water mess here. The like, time is up. Like everything I do here. Now that stuff doesn't interfere with the hose once that's going to be in down the chute with the proper clip. Alright. Now let me tighten this up. We can stop this water leak. It's everywhere. New part on, fixed, loud noise, change fill valve. Seriously, and the only thing I see wrong with the old one is this, it's like a restrictor. It's in the inside of that side, I can see through it. But like there's no serviceable part for this. Hmm. Well, part was free though that I got, so. Time to clean up. A lot of mess. Yeah, that could have been the issue, but I got the part for free anyway, but. How to remove from the company. How to remove the toilet fill valve flow regulator. Same way. Blah 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 Pulls right out. You can leave it out. Hmm. Some have a screen. Interesting. Slow fill. I don't know. Could have been it. I just junked the old thing though. I don't care. I'm not putting it back. Back to back video. So uh, I just changed the fill valve. It was making terrible sounds and feeling slow. And I was looking in the bottom going, what the heck is that? Is that a restrictor? Yeah, it's a restrictor. But I probably could have just removed that and ran it. I didn't even know about it. Well, now I do. There's my new piece that I got for free. But United Plumbers of China, UPC. So obviously you have to drain the tank. Turn off your water. Drain your tank. You know, flush it a few times. Get it as low as possible. Take this out, like two gallons of water are going to come out of that drain hole over there once you disconnect your water supply. Then you got to take the whole thing out again like you're changing it and uh, you'll say this, but it'll be deeper in there though. And you got to use needle nose pliers and you just pull it right out. And that's a restrictor. You can either have it or not. If you have water hammering, you need to put it back in. If you don't, uh, maybe it's just going to be a little louder and fill faster. That probably was my issue. It would just swelled up over time, it's restricting too much. Get this needle nose pliers, grab it, it's gonna be in there deeper though. Pull it out, it looks like that. Then you look through the fill tube, you'll see a straight shot. Well if the cap's off of it. If the cap's you know, if the cap's not um, on it, little thing in the very top. I took mine apart. I like to take things apart. And then you get that water flow. Instead of the water having to go around this corkscrew. It really wasn't that clogged though, you know? So maybe it wasn't my issue. Because the water flow with the restrictors, it was kind of boogered out over there. It wasn't round, but it goes through, you know, here. And it goes through the spiral. And then it feeds up to that hole. That's the design of it. Just slowing it down into a spiral. And then it comes out over here to fill your tank and then it comes all the way to the top and it has a little tube that goes down the hole and that's what fills your bowl. It's a two-step operation. Yeah, interesting though. I never knew that it was there and uh, now I know. Now I'm toilet pro. I'm full of shh, full of poop. Needle nose pliers. Interesting. Probably could have fixed it. But I have a new part. I'm gonna go clean my toilet bowl. There's dust and dog hair all over it because this place is filthy. I should have cleaned out the tank too. Look at the trash in there again. I did that a couple of years ago. That metal handle is coming with me. For everywhere to move. It's getting a plastic one. Because that cost me some money, now even more money. Never broke yet. Metal. I was thinking about trying it, just taking it out. I'm curious now, but you see, I pushed it all the way back in there. The whole thing was um, messed up. I might try it. I'm gonna reassemble this thing. Get out of the trash, put it all back together. Yeah, I don't see any other failure points to this. You know, I just hate throwing money into this place and I don't have to. So, I might run it with the um, no restrictor and put the other one back in the box. So, I'll remember out of here, I have a spare one. My forward. 
worn out unit. Yeah, it has a new rubber piece on the top. I feel like doing it right now, but I don't feel like making a water mess again. Never mind. Look at the crack in here. We're not going to play with that again. This thing's done. But that was probably part of the problem. Next time I have one slow filling or removing that thing. But check for cracks. That's probably why it was whistling. Water is coming through that crack. And the uh, float kind of covered it so I didn't see it. 